Hey everybody, uh, uh, Mr. Mathbog here. That I hope you guys are doing well, and uh, we're going to do area of composite figures, so um, figures that are uh, put together here. So there's our our groovy California um, Common Core strand right there, and then our question here is uh, uh, how do we find the area of composite figures? And we're going to insert some money figure stuff in here. So here we go. So Aaron was plotting the shape of his garden on a grid paper. Uh, uh, while it was irregular shape, it was perfect for his garden. Code word, uh, word problem, you guys, right here. So each square of the grid represents one square meter. So describe one way of finding the area. There's, uh, there's several, several correct ways. I'm only going to show you two or three of them right here. Um, but there's others also so so what we can do is we can divide this into rectangles and triangles and then uh, find the area of each so let's just say I, I did this right here and, and then uh, uh, put this rectangle right down here I'm sorry this diagonal right down there do you do you see uh, um, uh, the triangle on top and and um, this triangle on top and and these two rect rectangles, if you can't see those two rectangles, check this out. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I divided it that way. I don't know if that's the way I did it right here, but I'll show you here in just a second. Excuse me, I have to cough. I'm so sorry. <coughs> so, no, I didn't do it that way. I, I cut it up like that. Okay, so can you see a triangle on top and two rectangles, a big rectangle and a small rectangle? So let's find the area of those. Okay, so the triangle is one-half base times height. So one half eight times two gives us uh, eight. And remember, area is always square units. So here it's square meters because it said it was in in meters in the problem right there. The big rectangle right here is four by eight. Okay, so four by eight. Let's get that. So here's the big rectangle, four by eight right there. Four times eight is thirty-two. And we're going to add all these things together. Okay, and this little small little dude right here, the small rectangle is two by three. Two times three is six. Okay, so just don't forget base times height uh, is the rectangles and then one half base times height is the triangles. So we get six and then we're just going to add them together. So the total area is all the sum of those. So we get 46 square meters. All right, so let's uh, let's try um, uh, use dotted lines to show two different ways uh, Aaron's garden could be divided up into simple geometric figures. Okay, well there's one, the one that we did right there, and then that one we can do that one also. There are others. Okay, I don't want to show those to you yet. I don't want you to get overloaded, uh, but there are other ways. And and if you're getting the same answer, I tell my students you're doing it correctly. Okay. So, okay, so a composite figure is made up of simple geometric shapes uh, and to find the area of those composite figures or other irregular uh, shaped figures. Oftentimes, we can divide it up into simple non-overlapping figures like uh, rectangles, tr uh, squares, rec triangles, all that stuff. And then we can find the area of each and then add those areas together to find the total area of all that stuff. And so... There's our formula to find the area of triangles, squares, rectangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids. Remember our groovy trapezoids? All right, let's keep going. So here's a here's a figure right here they want us to find the area. Okay, so what I'm going to do is cut it up, in, and they've already cut it up into some pieces right here. And so here I see one, two, three, four. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do the top piece and the bottom piece. Okay, so if that's 10 right there then so is that. That's 10 right there, okay? And then this bottom piece is a total trapezoid, so we'll use our trapezoid formula. So separate those figures up into those two congruent figures and then recognize that um, uh, the 10s float there. So let's find the area of the parallelogram over here. Parallelograms are base times height, and then trapezoids are one half the sum of the parallel sides, seven plus ten times the height right there. Okay, so and then we add them together. Okay, so the the parallelogram is base times height, and the trapezoid is one half the height times base one plus base two. Okay, so when we do that, we get fifteen on the parallelogram, and when we do that, we get 
12.75. So if we add those together, we're going to get uh, 27.75. Don't forget, you guys, area is always in square units. So here it's centimeters squared. All right, let's try that with these guys. I'm going to separate these guys up. Okay, they've always already given us a hint. We've got a triangle, a rectangle, and a triangle. So let's do that. Okay, so one half base times height. This is base times height. This is one half base times height. So here's the top triangle. We get three. Here's the bottom triangle. We get uh, 4.5. Here's the rectangle. We get 44. Add them together. We get 51.5. And don't forget square units. So here it's square feet. All right, this guy right here. Okay, I'm going to separate these up into this square and this half circle, okay? Half a circle is a half of pi r squared. So the square is 10 times 10, so 100. So half the circle is 1 half pi r squared, which is pi times uh, 3.14 times 5 squared. And we get, um, don't forget, we got square it first uh, before we start multiplying. And then we add those together. So we get that. That's the, the total area, okay? Hopefully it's easy enough. Okay, here we go. So a banquet room is being carpeted. So here's a floor plan of the room. And it says each unit represents one yard. So <clears throat> one square yard, I probably should say. The carpet costs $23.50 per square yard. How much will the carpet cost? So what we have to do first is find the area. And once we find the total area, just like we did before, then we multiply that by $23.50. Okay, so we have those three figures, a parallelogram, a rectangle, and a triangle. So the parallelogram is just base times height. Okay, and so the rectangle is base times height, and the triangle is one-half base times height. And add them together, and we get 33. So the cost is going to be 33 times the 2350. I know it's going fast, you guys, but um, hopefully you have some calculators at this stage and if not that's okay so um, just multiply those um, uh, uh, 2350 times times 35 gets us uh, it's gonna cost uh, those people to fill that banquet room almost eight hundred dollars 775 and some change all right one more you guys okay so here we have a window that's being replaced with uh, two with uh, tinted glass okay so the plan at the right shows the design of the window so each unit length is one foot. The glass costs 28 per square foot, 28 bucks per square foot. How much is it going to cost to replace the gap the, 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 to the glass? Sorry. <clears throat> so I'm going to, these two semicircles makes one circle and then plus the rectangle in the middle. Okay, so there it is right there. And so what I'm going to do is con convert these two dudes right here and make one circle right there. So the area is pi r squared, and then the area of this is going to be um, uh, base times height, or um, uh, length times width. So, so we have, uh, I'm just counting here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 5 times 4, this is 20, pi r squared, r is the radius is 2, so 2 squared is 4, pi, uh, 4 squared is 16, so Anyways, we're going to get that, and we're going to get uh, that right there, and multiply those, add them together. The total area is that. Now remember, the glass costs $28 per square foot, so we're going to have to multiply that by 28, and we get almost $1,000. Okay. All right, you guys. I hope that makes sense, and take care.